no style. Been telling us about no some latest developments in the proposed merger of Volta River Authority VRA Hydro with Bui Power Authority well, and the separation of Thermal Power Authority. We know that VRA staff are opposed to this merger. There's a release that is currently circulating. We'll connect with Armstrong very shortly, get an update on exactly what these issues are, what they mean for the country, and so on and so forth. In fact, they're asking you to step into a world of hassle-free banking with the all-new CBG mobile app. The new CBG mobile app has been designed to make you enjoy the convenience of banking anywhere and at any time. Download the new CBG mobile app on the Google Play Store or iOS App Store and experience the ease of managing your finances on a secure, smart and user-friendly digital platform. Receive real-time alerts to stay informed about your account activity. Join the digital revolution and elevate your banking experience with the all-new CBG mobile app. For more inquiries, do contact Z Zero three zero double two one six triple zero, or you can email talk to us at cbg.com.gh. Social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and also on X. Terms and conditions apply. CBG says we stand with you. Be happy. Put a smile on your face. Don't bring everybody down. Now we've got 24 hours in a day, but is this enough? Are you ever so hard pressed? for time that any time Don't worry. you crave jollof, Don't the thought of chopping, blending, cutting just puts you off because there isn't enough time for that. Or well, making jollof just got easier with Tasty Tom Jollof Mix. Now you can make finger licking jollof sharp, 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 sharp in 45 minutes or less. Now if you're wondering how, Tasty Tom Jollof Mix has all the ingredients to make jollof already mixed in the pack. All you need is your rice, your water, your salt and seasoning to taste. What are you waiting for? Make some delicious jollof, sharp, sharp, sharp. Tasty Tom Jollof Mix, delicious jollof, sharp, sharp. My colleague Armstrong Gold Alogbe joins us on the program right about now. I told you before we went on that quick musical break, the major or proposed major of Volta River Authority, Hydro with Bui Power Authority and the separation of Thermal Power Authority. Armstrong, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Yeah, good morning, Helen. I'm well. Fantastic. Tell us, what's the latest uh, on this issue of a major of VRA, Bui Power and the rest. There's some opposition to this. What do you know? Helen, so this morning at 30, at 7 a.m., I've been moving around the uh, head office of the VRA here in Accra, and um, it appears the staff are not in support of the merger, and um, they, 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 they all came into work today wearing red bands, and across the main VRA building, you see that they've um, tied red bands across the entire building with inscription, VAR is not for sale. We will not support it. Engage us as stakeholders so that we can find an amicable solution to this. So I first drove past and later went in to engage some of the staff who spoke uh, with me. Um, yes. Yeah, they didn't want to be recorded, though. Uh, they did say to me that they are receiving customers, they are working as usual, but something big is coming up in the near future where they will not work at all if government continues with its plans to uh, separate uh, VRA from the chairman and other issues. So basically, that's what is happening here now at the VRA head office in Accra. And I'm told it's something that is happening across the entire country where NETCO 
and other athletes associated with the VRA are all embarking on this uh, wearing of red band to work today. And if you're watching us on Facebook, you see some of that. So I'm sure I'm seeing the red bands that you've mentioned. It says, keep off um, VRA, not for sale. In speaking with the staff who are opposed to this, have they given you reasons as to why they are just opposed? So they are saying the reason is that VRA has efficiency to work. They have the capacity to work, just like Asogli and other uh, agencies that have similar work to this, but anytime they make proposal or they make demands from government, government fails to provide them with what they need to work effectively. And they don't see why government will now say that they are not working to full capacity, hence they have to divide their responsibility. They are saying that if you really want us to work effectively, if we demand for a box of chalk, give us a box of chalk and don't give us half. Mm. If we demand for a uh, fool to work, give us a full fool and not tell us go and come. So that is basically what they are saying. And also they say the fear they are going to lose their job because obviously the moment you move mm. the term out to a different place, right. the new uh, bosses would want to come in with their own people, which um, about half of them will be losing their job if care is not taken. Have any timelines been, been given by the staff as to when they're expecting a definite response from government? As it stands now, um, it appears sometime next week, early next week, mm. they may be doing something, shaking up the area. Um, for them, until government back down on its choice or its decision to uh, go ahead with a proposed suppression, they will... One of these has come to work and not work at all and will not attend to any staff. But they mm. said other things that uh, they, 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 they wouldn't want me to say on air so that um, they can have it well planned. But right. as it sounds right now, they are working and they've hinted that sometime next week they will be hitting the streets. Sometime next week, they will be hitting the street. Armstrong, Armstrong, finally, before I let you go on this issue, do you think uh, uh, government's response or approach could have been different to avoid what we're currently seeing? Perhaps more stakeholder engagement or a different model? What are the, what are the thoughts? So the, the, the thoughts are saying that if government should engage with them, mm. their decision of hitting the street next week, they can assume that they wouldn't go ahead with it. What they are calling for now is for government to be able to engage and engage uh, maybe some number of time and explain to them why they want to uh, separate the uh, thermal plants from the VRA. And basically for them, if the engagement happens, they wouldn't have gotten to this stage. Mm. Certainly. Armstrong, thank you so much for giving us an update on this developing story. Of course, we have our eyes and ears firmly on this one. Armstrong Gold, along with here at MG, with us reporting on this issue. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, you can see the drapings of some red ribbons, some red material as well. It says VRA, not for sale. This is still 3FM Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. 13 minutes to the top of the hour. Make sure that you're following still on the socials. The conversation is always on there. You can follow along as we proceed. The best in the morning is on 92.7. Sunrise.